Hello, everybody. I decided to be lazy and just give you my presentation <laughs> for four years ago. So this is me standing here. I'm going to go have a quick cup of tea backstage. But no, four years ago, I came to Ignite Amherst for the first time. It was amazing because I realized there's this percolation and cross-pollination of ideas, which is exactly what we look for in the field of community media. So while we're doing all of the community media things, we notice a lot of times we have what we call here a technical snafu, which is when we get walked over and press the button to make the slides advance instead. <laughs> but we can see on slide number two. <laughs> it's ours, but we're surrounded. The Commonwealth is the heartland of community media. These are all the community television and low power FM organizations that are across the place. And I'm guessing this is not 15 seconds anymore. <laughs> Otherwise, my conception of time has really got messed up <laughs> in the interval. But we're about watching things local. We're about broadcasting local, facilitating your dreams, enabling you to do things you might not otherwise have a chance to. This is all filmed in hours, but it's not just in the Commonwealth. It's across the US, and we want to work to make sure that people uh, are fighting for a better media. We partner with Free Press, who happen to be local yeah. too. Yeah. And they are one of the many advocates for community and public media because we're pre-reformed media. We're not owned, we're neutral, we're non-partisan. We don't have any agenda other than standing up for you and for free speech. And when we do that, we don't, I just had to point this out from last time, take it from taxes. Our money, in the case of community television, is from your cable fees. A tiny little percentage, you won't even notice your generous donations. <laughs> <laughs> your generous donations, memberships, the classes we do, etc. And we give back. And while we're giving back, while cable is just in Amherst, where you can see it here, we did a survey of UMass last year where 17 communities across the Pioneer Valley and beyond regularly have people that are watching us online because we know that we have to make sure we are broadcasting globally. But with the sense across the US, it's about training, it's about building skills so people understand how to use the technology. Amherst is an Apple authorized training center. We do that like many places so that when you put on your resume, you know Photoshop, you actually know Photoshop. <laughs> so these are some of the interns that we taught. Just last semester that we have with us, across the US, the number of people who have gone from community media to Hollywood, to television, to independent productions, to all kinds of incredible things, is phenomenal. But you don't have to just take my word for it. We had a special guest but last Thursday. You can tell you what he thinks about community media. Community media is a very widespread and, uh, and very available, and, and it's a great way to engage uh, in a kind of, as I say, long form uh, on some issues that, are, uh, that don't lend themselves to uh, uh, over simplification it. Allow me to oversimplify for the rest of my slides instead. <laughs> so, we, what we do is combine the startup philosophy with a non profit budget, which is kind of tricky because we have to do everything for nothing or less because that's not really correct. <laughs> we do that along with the Alliance for Community Media, the national organization, and state chapters like Mass Access to make sure that we can do it sensibly partner together so we can work on projects like the Internet Archive, where we're putting all of the community media materials from the last 40 plus years in some cases up online. It's government meetings, it's the shows you've done, it's the things you won't see anywhere. You can watch them here, you can watch them with Rock you, you can put them in loads of places. We're being responsive to the new technology. In Northampton, their citizen journalists are at Paradise City Press. They do not just television, they do shorter form video, photography, written passages as well, all kinds of fabulous things. In Amherst, we had a visiting professor, Yuong Zhen from China, who, as well as doing the news for us in English, also did the Amherst news in Chinese. <laughs> Part of that was because we now have, in Amherst, a UNESCO board chair member, Yang Sebase, who works for the, and this is a tongue twister when we get to the next slides, because there's lots of C's and S's, the Center for Communication for Sustainable Social Change. And Yan now is at the University of Hong Kong, so we have partnerships with, between Hong Kong and Amherst. <laughs> Along with, from my limited understanding, and this is the secretly global of geography, quite a few other places in between, because I don't think we're quite next door neighbors exactly. 
in the US, these are the people who are partnered with and want in Sweden as well, working on open source software of Drupal and Civi CRM to make new websites to extend the possibilities of it. You can see Manhattan Neighborhood Network's shiny new version of this, which looks rather different from the world of community media uh, websites even three or four years ago, because we're moving forward, we're changing this. We are engaging with the community. And that... Yeah. So that engagement is with open source. It's philosophical. It's working out that we don't have to take things all the time. We're giving back as partnerships in various forms. That started here. I don't know if you stand in the building. Yeah. Yeah. Surprise this evening, I met Connor. We work with Connor in a very brief way to beta test localocracy because we show local government, they take the pulse of the local public to say what they have to say about local government. These things naturally come together, and after working with us, I believe you managed to go and do something successful in telling it to the Huffington Post, maybe? So it, the, the universe expands and shifts in strange ways with that. We met some guys from down the road who were starting their own IT company. We said, sure, we better test the software. What about hardware? Can you make us a multi-platform open source edit server that will work with all 20 computers in our building and do it for a tenth of the cost of what it would be to build to buy something otherwise? And they did, and it's awesome. We've had it for two years. They've now made one for the Hadley Fire Department, as well as Belmont and Chicago community media centers. But these are just the things that have already happened. This is Schemata for Cambridge Community Television's new fabulous studio. I encourage you to go and visit. They've now finished. We are in the process of envisioning what the future's going to be like, what it's going to be. We know media changes a lot. That's been the case. We have to be responsive. We need to plan out and think about it. We are now in the process of moving ourselves and ours, and we need to have your vision, your help, your donations, maybe. Your, your interest, your enthusiasm, your passion, because community media isn't us talking about it on stage, it isn't all the fabulous people bringing this to you and streaming it, it is the community. We want to be involved with you in every way, and thank you very much. For <laughs>